Hi guys, it's your girl Thea. Today we're we're actually on a business trip in Kingston and it wasn't planned. A road trip wasn't planned, but we drove past this place and to be honest with you, we had to turn back to go and capture this for you, just for you. Today we have Rikayla, Rikayla, yes. say <laughs> Rikayla, say hi. Hi. Hi to our beautiful audience, our viewers. And we have, who is that? Javane. That's it. Javane, we have Javane here with us. Javane, say hi to my viewers. Hi. And Auntie Trish is back there. And Auntie Sean, as always. Hi, guys. Ah. So, today is just, um, as I said before, it wasn't planned. And so I hope you really appreciate this video. Um, please don't forget to like our videos. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're new here, welcome. And please leave a comment. Thank you guys for watching. What happened, guys, that I'm... Um, I am here. I was just passing Sabina Park. And look what I saw. Look what I saw. Isn't this something? This is beautiful. And I see some wonderful guys from doing this work of art. Work of art, guys. Look at this. Isn't this something? This is awesome. This is just breathtaking. Well, you know, you know by now that I love art. And here. Cross the road, so from time to time you will see you see the vehicles passing. This is just awesome, awesome. I hope you see enough. Jordan Harrison yeah. and this is Jordan's work. Jordan, who is this? Um, so this is Nikita Miller, mm -hmm. one of the West Indians. Um, he's a very spectacular bowler. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, uh, this, we use some Adinko symbols in the back. Mm -hmm. So with this one, it speaks to um, greatness. Okay. Yeah. I am just learning about the symbols. Yeah. I am just learning about it, and I'm gonna go and do my research. Do you yeah. want all of us to see your face? Sure, no problem. So this is the face behind that painting. Awesome, guys. Awesome. This is a, a true of art painting. I I I really appreciate what you guys are doing here, thank and you. thank you, thank you so much. Yan Kyu. Yan Kyu. 
So Yankee eh, is going to show us his painting here. So, did the Chris Gale? Mm -hmm. Working on another cricketer called General Ship. Called? General Ship. Yes. Let's Second see. Second to last. Second to last. So one in the glasses. Yes. Work in progress. Looks good to me. That's it. Looks good to me. I'll be driving fast again. I'm gonna. But by maybe by then the, the video is gonna be up to you guys. You will see you will see this after after they're done and you will see it, it's beautiful now anyways. So Alright, and that's what you did? Yeah, there are two on the other side down there. I'm not sure if you went down there. I did. Yeah. I did, I captured. Right. Mm -hmm. On the right, um, Rivali Latiscot and Steve Bucker. CJ, who are you working on now? I'm currently working on Tamara Lambert. I don't know. I don't know. Tamar Lambert. Tamar Lambert? Yes. Alright, so um CJ and Deandra. They are a team. They work on this painting together and they did Marlon Samuels. and Samuels. And Jimmy Adams, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture that for you to see guys. Thank you so much guys. No Thank you. Hi guys. We are here today with me. Rosie Chung. Rosie Chung. And Rosie Chung, she's a part of the team. Yes, working at Sabina Cricket Ground. And uh, what we're partaking in here is one of those monumental works by the Ministry in partnership with Studio 174. Studio 174 is a non profit organization that works with youths generally to create, showcase them, their talents that they have, and also to give them a voice for the wider community. as I say, is, is being funded and uh, as I say, in partnership with uh, Studio 174. And the concept behind it was to now reopen Sabina Park, but before they wanted to do something a little different. Mm -hmm. um, they want to now try to have young people think about playing cricket. Because, you know, cricket was always known as a gentleman. Responsible for bringing people like Stephanie, right. uh, Marlon Samuels, 
and um, um, what are the most famous young producers right now? Which is Chris Gale. Everybody knows Chris Gale. Everybody knows you know? Chris Gale. <laughs> um, wonderful personality. So we wanted to showcase those in a different way mm -hmm. because if you see the wall is going more or less in a chronological order, mm -hmm. starting uh, way back with Henley. So right. it's actually telling us a, a, a story. Yes, yes, yes. Not a story, it's the yes. first thing, yes. but it is telling something. All right. But right. there's one other element that I would like to introduce to. Mm -hmm. So I got the concept to work with not just portraits, mm -hmm. but we have portraits and uh, the figures that are really 10 feet high in action. All right, so you see the portraits and the action, but behind the action, we have symbols, we have pattern making, and these patterns are what we call Adinkra symbols, and they are Adinkra symbols that are coming from Ghana. These are Asian way of how we used to relate to our one another through community, and it would be mostly the chiefs and the kings who would wear it on the uniforms. So the challenge was for the young artists now was to choose. what they actually mean but yeah. it's more than just a picture yes it is yes more it than is just, i'm yes. just learning this now yes, guys it is. and in fact the heart shape that we are so um used to familiar with is originally from the Adinkra symbol as well mm. right so there, there's things about our history and culture that you know we're still learning about and so you have to know where you're coming from in order yes. to know where yes. you're going And his work depicts symbols as well, but his symbols is the Aztec symbols. So we, in fact, had to do symbols that related to our own culture. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because he's bringing his culture to Jamaica, all right? And the Aztec symbols are coming way back, mm -hmm. you know, and what the Aztecs mean. Mm -hmm. So his work also have a in the work together, even though it's using 
depicting our imagery mm -hmm. for playing of cricket, mm -hmm. we need to use our symbols that are from the motherland uh, that says more than just uh, portraiture. You know, it's like doing a uh, bit The symbols are so very universal in the sense that many people use the symbols that don't even realize it's coming from Africa. Yeah. And uh, they were mostly worn on fabric. So when you start researching, you see how much is that different as area when you find the crop. Because the crop told a story. Yes. Right? When you wore something, so I saw you from a distance and you had a single one, I could almost know, you yeah. know, what I'm about. What you're about. Yes. You yes. know? So it meant composition was very different then. Yes. Alright. Oh, this is this is beautiful. And you know it just brings us back to to our motto out of many one people. So you are you are mentioning this gentleman who is bringing in this thing from his country, their culture and it's in it in what we are. Right. right. We, we are coming from different backgrounds but it just makes us one. Yes it does. It just makes us yes, one. It does. I really appreciate you taking the time out to just come and share with us. And thank you for stopping and you know wanting to know we appreciate I don't normally go on road 
questions without doing my research. But today, this one caught me off guard. Yes. And so I am learning. And, and if you see me not saying much, I don't, I, I, I don't have much. I don't have much info on what you share it with me. But this is, this is good. This is good knowledge. And it is good to have a face here to be sharing all of this with us. I really, yes. I really appreciate this. Yes. And I promise you I will be doing my research. <laughs> Sabina, the, Sabina was named of a, a slave woman. Yes, right. You can Google the information. Um, there is some research that was done. So here they are guys, they are not just lines and shapes, they are symbols with meanings and so this is how our tradition is being passed down to us, our legacy, it is being passed down to our elders and so um, when we get this knowledge we share it with our children and, and, and allow them to know their, their 
their past. If you don't know your past, you don't know where you're going. So you need to know where you're coming from, your identity, so you don't lose yourself. Um, this is just great. And, you know, you just have to continue to learn the availability to, to, for knowledge just to learn. And um, pass down to our children. Don't get, let's forget who they are, where they're coming from. How did we get here? Our know, four parents were slaves. And here we are today. Let's not forget ourselves. Let's not forget our rules or identity. It would be nice to come back and to get a, a clearer shot. Can you identify any of these people, guys? Can you identify them? Okay, Anthony's here working on... Who is this you're doing um, your painting? Marlon Tucker. Marlon Tucker. Okay, Marlon Tucker. Okay, and he did about four other paintings here on the wall. Do you want to tell us the other four that you did? The other three? Sure, sure. The other three. Mm -hmm. um, there is Michael Holden. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, sorry, guys, it's really windy here. So you might not hear everything, but like, we're trying here. Michael Holding, Holly Smith. Mm -hmm. Yes. Courtney uh, Walsh. He's up there. Okay. Malachi. All right. You're doing an awesome job, and I really, really appreciate this that you're doing. This is a work of art. I don't know if other people are appreciate the way appreciate this work the way I I I do, or I feel about what what I'm seeing here. But I just want you to know that you guys are awesome. You're doing a terrific job. Thank you. All right.
like and subscribe to our channel and like this channel.